if this top card is a Zoro, you have to subscribe. Ah! Cardi Kaizoku. Let's do a Zoro mirror. We'll go first. We'll keep. Three VVs is nice. We'll play Nami. We'll pick up a Robin. And pass. They play a Nami. They pick up a Zoro. And they play a Chopper and pass. We'll attack with Leader for 5k. They take, we'll play Robin and pass. We'll only be able to play two of our VVs next turn. It would have been cool to play all three, but we went first. They attack our leader with their leader for 5k, we'll take. They jet pistol our Robin. We'll do Dawn on leader and attack their leader for 6k. They counter for 2k. We'll play two of our VVs and pass. They attach Dawn to leader and attack our leader for 6k. We'll take. They play starter deck Zoro and leave two Dawn open. Is that a Red Hawk telegraph? We'll play Nami first. We'll pick up a jet pistol. We'll jet pistol the Zoro. We'll attack with leader for 5k. I wanted to save Dawn to play another VV this turn. Oh, they did have Red Hawk and they kill one of our VVs. We'll play another VV and pass. Maybe I was too greedy with the VVs. She would have lived if I had put Dawn on leader, but I really wanted to live my 3 VV fantasy out. They attach Dawn to leader and attack our leader for 6k. We'll take. They attach 2 Dawn to Nami. They attach a third Dawn to Nami and attack our leader for 6k. We'll counter for 2k. They play Nico Robin and pass with one Dawn open. We'll attach Dawn to leader. We'll attack their Nami with ours for 3k. She dies. Anything good to bring back with Uta? No, not yet. We will do second Dawn on leader and attack their leader for 7k. They block with Chopper. We'll do. Dawn on VV, 2 Dawn on VV, and attack their leader for 7k. They take. Let's just do that again. 2 Dawn on the other VV, and attack their leader for 7k. They take. We'll play Zoro. And then attack their leader for 6k. They counter for 2k, and we'll pass. They attach Dawn to leader, and then Dawn to Robin. They play Otama to give Zoro minus 2000 power. They, they use Robin to attack Vivi for 6k and KO Zoro with her ability. They attack Vivi with Zoro for 6k. They play their own Rush Zoro. They attack Nami for 6k. We're just trading blows back and forth. They play a second Rush Zoro. They attach Dawn to him and attack our leader for 7k. We'll take. We'll do Dawn on leader. We'll do Dawn on Nami and see if they have any counters in hand. We'll attack Robin for 4k. They counter for 1k. We'll attack Robin with Zoro for 6k. She dies. 
we'll play Luffy. If we want to play these two choppers, we'd have one Dawn left over anyway, so let's just attach it to Luffy and attack Zoro for 8k. He dies. Then we'll just play two choppers and pass. These two Diablo Joms in hand are kind of dead cards in this matchup. They attach Dawn to leader. They attach 4 more Dawn to leader, bringing him to 5. They play Diablo Jump to give their leader unblockable, and they attack our Luffy for 10k. They attach 4 Dawn to Otama. They attack our leader for 5k. We'll counter for 2k. They could have another Luffy in hand and we can't risk being at 0 life. We'll do Dawn on leader and attack Otama with Nami. We don't have to worry about the Otama, right? Because he'd have to invest a lot of Dawn to get her to attack. Let's see, we can do Uta and Sanji this turn. 3 Dawn on Nami and attack leader for 6k. They counter for 2k. We'll attack leader with our leader for 6k. Yeah, we'll probably bring back a brook. They take. We'll play Uta. Bring back a brook for a 2k counter. And then we'll play Sanji and pass. I'm pretty sure we'll live this turn. These two choppers are the only reason we'll live this turn. They attach down to leader. They attack Nami with leader for 6k. I guess that means they're not confident that they could end it this turn, so they just want to weaken our board state. They attach 5 down to Otama and attack our leader for 6k. We'll counter for 2k. And with that, we don't have to worry about a Luffy coming down or anything. They attach 2 down to Zoro and attack our leader for 8k. We'll block with Chopper. They have 2 down open. We'll do down on leader. And then let's get our attackers out of jet pistol range. Bring them to 7k. Uh, let's attack with Uta first for 7k and see what happens. They counter for 3k. So if they have one card in hand and one card in life, the max they'll be able to counter for is 9k. So let's bring both Sanji and Zoro to 9k and attack. And then attack with Zoro for 9k, and this should be game. I hope, unless he has an event counter. They counter for 4k, and that's not enough, and we win. Okay, bye. Cardi Kaizoku.